and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ari Kennen. That's right, we're going to be trying out the new two Ionia champions, putting them together, and in fact, we're playing an all Ionia deck here. This one is going to be one that you know i don't think will necessarily be like one of the best decks like for a while right like this is kind of us testing out a lot of the new cards and things like that and, and with uh, other cards that we know that are pretty good and seeing how they work together um because like i said this is all ionia in here and the reason why we're playing all ionia is because of this uh kinku wayfinder allegiance summon to one cost allies from your deck we want to always hit allegiance with that but overall um I just realized that Kinku Wayfinder, they're wearing their face mask like before, because this card was out like before the pandemic, right? Whenever this card was made? I don't remember. But anyway, um, uh, so yeah, we're going to be um, uh, trying this out with all Ionia. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that, oh, like in the future, whenever we kind of figure out like what the metagame looks like a little bit more and like what cards work really well with Kennen and Ari and stuff. I definitely think this will be a two region deck and I think the best version of this deck will be two regions. I'm just not exactly sure what that other region should be right now and what to splash. Bandle City has some new cards that uh, deal with recall. Of course, both of our champions are, um, you know, all about like recalling and stuff. So maybe Bandle City, that's kind of like the obvious one, right? Like even Kennen is part Bandle City. But it could be that just playing a different region for good interaction, like if there turns out to be like uh, like Mystic Shot, right? Like if Mystic Shot is just really, really good in this metagame and you really want Mystic Shot, you know, you could splash Piltoverns on for Mystic Shot. Maybe the new Targon card that's four mana that looks really good, uh, Blinded Mystic. Maybe Blinded Mystic just turns out to just be insane and, you know, like you just want to play this card all the time and so like you just put blinded mystic in this deck like that's that's definitely possible right like you can kind of go with any other region if you, if we find something that that really fits but for now we're going to be playing mono ionia um and uh trying out some new stuff we're gonna have eight one drops in here because i don't want to only have kennen even though like that's pretty cool of, like putting two kennens into play but i don't want to only have kennen and then we run out of one drops for the wayfinder because you know we can recall the wayfinder and then you know some more one drops and stuff like that so we're gonna have eight one drops with the with the droplet kennen and this new call card the mourned um i like recall like i actually like this card quite a bit i think this is an underrated card so we're gonna be playing one mana recall and let's see uh dancing droplet and shadow assassin is going to be our card advantage i'm going to try out this new landmark this god willow seedling not exactly sure about it but we'll just kind of see what's up it seems like it could be cool with kennen um doing some more recalling and making some ephemerals and stuff and that's kind of about it also this god willow seedling with wayfinder could be kind of crazy too who knows anyway let's get to it let's go and play our deck ari kennen we're gonna go play our five games in ranked Okay, we got Lulu Poppy. And so it's tough playing like brand new cards and like a deck that's, you know, definitely not tuned or anything like that against um, a deck that has been very highly tuned like Lulu Poppy, but we're going to give it our best shot. Um, I could see actually keeping all of these, but maybe we send Wayfinder back because it's a four drop, but I could actually see kind of keeping all of these. I like the Homecoming to be able to return. Um, either Lulu or Poppy. So I don't expect them to play anything. Mark of the Storm is fleeting, right? So that goes away. And so I, I was thinking about just like waiting on that, but then, you know, then we draw this Ari. And now we're going to want to play this. Also, I know, I, f I forgot to change up the all the cosmetics on this board. My bad, my bad. Okay, we're getting a lot of homecomings. Yordle Explorer looks insane. I am I break the wind. <laughs> yeah. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Exploration and um, exportation. Here's our chance. 
No, that didn't work out. Man, so make Lulu a 4-4 and have it cost 2 mana. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty silly. Kills Ari. Man, this this is difficult to play. Like, what do I, what do we do? Like, do I actually just homecoming? It's still gathering. Do I let Ari die? This is difficult. I feel like we have to kill these Yordle Explorers, but... No, maybe not. Seriously? There's so many of these things. Oh, that- it just gets another mark, it's- it- the mark goes away? Okay, well, learning new stuff all the time. Does give me eight mana next round for like a Wayfinder plus a Homecoming. Yeah, remove the mark. Yeah, so yeah, it removes the mark and then does two. And so then whenever I play a new one, it just gives the mark again. I should have had my Blade Twirler block the Lulu. I should have traded there. Yeah, that level up's really cool. Acquisitions commence. Let's use all the colors. Privateering, good show. They won't like this. Another expedition. Ha, ac Look at that. Okay, so that's gonna be killing that thing. Wanna see these moves up close? Should I trade here before? I'll take care of this. So going down to seven. We could definitely rally. I guess rallies are a thing. So these things, whenever they attack, summoned, blocked, or attack. So each two of these will stun and deal two. Stun and deal two, stun and deal two. Go stun and deal two. Patience is a virtue. Stun and deal two. Retreat. This 
is super scary. Double Yordle Explorer still. All right, I can't recast this. the rally. Alright, GG's. Alright, Yordle Explorer is insane. It is not in victory that we learn. Yeah, I mentioned that at the end of that Rumble Scion too. You know, that Yordle Explorer card. Because of how good Yordles already are. You know, like, the, the thing about, like, the Elite version in Demacia, there's two things that are bad about that card. One, it's not also an elite, so it doesn't pump, pump up itself. But then two, the elites aren't really that good. And so then you have to play out these, these very mediocre or below average cards. The Yordles are already the best cards in the game anyway, and now you're just buffing them up. Yeah, that card looks really silly. That looks like one of those, like, why did we print this? Type cards. Okay, so with lurkers, you just gotta trade. I do lots of trading. Yeah, Zyman says Yordles feel like hard power creep and it makes me sad. Wow. Rek'Sai on top? Uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Having cards like Conchologist. <laughs> like, you know, your elite 2 mana 2 2 just has tough. With Concha, you know, your Yordle 2 mana 2 2 can just create another awesome spell that you get to manifest. You get to choose what spell you want. Teemo's the easiest path to champion. Hide and seek, huh? That feels really good. Alright, so they missed Lurk there. We know one of their three cards is Rek'Sai. So their very first lurk was was Pike, and their their round one lurk was Pike. Their round two lurk was Rek'Sai. And of course, that gets just right underneath my deny. Um, if I don't play the cannon and if I just go for Retreat Return instead... It's only when I'm summoned make one of these things. Okay. 
So I just gotta hope they miss Lurk. Because let's see, that's gonna be 11 overwhelm. I guess we can put six health in front of it, so five overwhelm. I'll take care of this. Yeah, these two games have been kind of crazy. One. Think you're fast enough. Yeah, Rex is pretty good. Okay. What can we do? Not a whole lot. Wild hearts should run free. Not a whole lot. Think you're fast? Cute. I don't know how we're surviving this attack, but to do some things. There's two of those. I'm just wasting time, basically. The world's heart beats with mine. We get to see cool animation, cool level up animation before we die. size on top. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, 0 and 2. So like I mentioned during the um, deck description, we're really kind of trying stuff out here, but like I said then, like this isn't going to be the most powerful version of this deck. It's definitely going to be, you know, having a second region and kind of figuring out what, it, you know, what cards go really well with these two champions. Right now, you know, like you go take that over to ranked, you're going to, you're going to put, play against Lurkers, Poppy Ziggs, these kind of decks that your that Yordle Explorer is completely insane. You're going to play against stuff, uh, decks that have been tuned for months, right? Like these, like Lurkers have been tuned for months. And so... Yeah, it's going to be better than our deck, you know, that's that's going to be how it is. So we're going to have a very poor record here. Um, that's going to how that's how it's going to be. But don't necessarily make that, you know, don't necessarily think that, OK, well, Ari and Kennen aren't any good and have no shot just because we have a poor record with this deck day one, um, trying out all Ionia cards. Let the commerce commence. But yeah, Yordle Explorer. That card's too good. That is something that we have learned today. Pick on someone your own speed. Is that that card is too good? Another day, another explosion. Okay, Zymoth, Yeah, you had a donation deck, Tristana and Rumble. Will do. 
This is a poor hand I have. Yeah, I really don't have anything to do. Alright, they didn't. Right. I had the attack token, they didn't. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Hmm. Ha! Little moves are just as good as big ones. Yeah, yeah, but the big ones are, well, bigger. It will be done. Thirteen. I think that's my biggest takeaway from today, though, uh, with the new cards so far. I still haven't seen pa Pantheon be played yet, but so far my biggest takeaway is why was this card printed? <laughs> like, this card is obnoxious, how good that card is. I don't understand, right? Like, like why... like. Who's in, like, the meeting... Like, what kind of meeting room are they, like, discussing this card? And they're like, you know what? All these Yordles that are already the, the most played cards, you know what they need? They need just, you know, a card that just... You know, they need a Lord. They need a 2-man two 2-2 two -two that just makes them bigger. That's also a Yordle. What? Okay. Who even mentions that and doesn't get, like, laughed out of the room? I don't know, man. I don't know. It just... I don't, I don't understand what's going on <laughs> with that. All right. Anyway, we are 0 and 3. It's honestly mind boggling to me. It really is. They did have a round one unit, so we do we are able to cast our Mark of the Storm round one, that's pretty nice. So this is basically exactly what we want these two champions to do, right? We want to have the attack token round two with Ari and Kennen and and uh, you know they played something round one where we got to use our Mark of the Storm. Is that thing a, that thing's a Yordle too? So that thing grows from the. Why is Yordle Explorer a card? I guess I'll never know. I have mastered the rain, lightning, and cloud styles. I'm right, probably saving my two spell mana. From all the regions, we are one. Okay. So this is going to be cannon number three. Man. I can't believe Yorl Ex Explorer just buffs all these things. Banal City Mayor just makes this one mana three. Oh, man. All right. Anyway. All right. So we're going to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and try this out. All right. Three out of six there. Four out of five here. Chase is on. 
on. Catch me if you can. Four. All right, I shouldn't have played this. God Willow Seedling. I wanted to try it out, but I shouldn't have played it. I assume we're just going to get burned out from four here. Potential here, though. Like, Kenan's doing some cool stuff. You know, this my deck certainly needs tuning, right? Like, but we can see the, the potential with Kenan and Ari and stuff that they can do. Um, only Ionia, like, Ionia hasn't been like, hasn't really given us the removal that we need or like the interaction for, you know, Yordles. Like, what do you do with Kenan and Ari against Yordles? I don't know. I shouldn't make That should put the Okay, yeah, it does. It does. It does. Okay. Just kind of making sure. All right, basically casting this right now so we can kind of clear hand space a little bit. Yeah, cuz we may have too many of these Mark of the Storms in hand. Puts him down to nine. I mean, I could also just do. Uh, yeah, I can't move that. I could do plus three, plus zero on the Ari. Hits him for five. Hits that thing for five. How am I killing them? Puts him down to six. I can. things. Yeah, so this cannon's no longer ephemeral once we put it back into our hand. I'm just super worried about uh, Noxion Fervor, right? Like, if I, I don't want to tap under Deny with the Noxion Fervor. Man, we could almost kill them. Said Ari Kennan's having trouble. I wouldn't necessarily say that, honestly. It's, I'm playing an all Ionia list that we, we know that this list isn't perfect, and you know we're just experimenting with the two cards. It's not real. I don't wouldn't really say that they're having trouble. I would say that the new too many Yordle is too good, and we ran into a ridiculous lurker hand that you know lurked Pike round one and Rexai round two, and you know like that. You know you you die to that that kind of stuff. It's okay. I possess the secrets of King Koo. I wouldn't necessarily say that Ari Kennan's having trouble, though. It's going to take time to figure out what else to do with these two. Today's the day I find that hero. So, obviously, the problem with drawing cards is the puff caps. Yeah, Decimate Fervor. I do not want to tap under the 4 mana for Deny.
Wow, conceded. All right. Okay, that's a victory. And we're one and three. Yeah, surprising they didn't wait for the draw because you know we could have drawn a whole bunch of puff caps. That was an option. They could have drawn another fervor. Man, I bet I bet this is kind of rough for us with make it rains and parlays and everything like that. Do I do I just try to play like dancing droplet a lot, or do we try to play Kennen a lot? I feel like we can't do both. I guess it's just Kennen, right? Yeah, parlay, make it rain. Because of parlay, I'm leading with this card. Silence. I don't want to have my cannon just die. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Wow. I live for those who do not. Yeah, that's the thing. We just keep playing against these decks that have been good for months and trying out some new cards like this. It's it's tough. Do I have to block the Jagged Butcher and put that at one health? So that then they're all at one health and they can't really block Kennen. But I don't really get anything for attacking with Kennen, just replaying Kennen over and over, I guess. Endless struggle. You'd say that Ari Kennen's the most difficult deck in the history of the game. Oh, I, di I didn't play that, sorry, I was thinking about that. <laughs> See? Difficult. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely difficult to play patterns and trying to figure out what to do with all the recall and how to play it and everything. It's a lot of, you know, like, game objects moving in different zones and trying to figure it all out. It, it's going to take a little bit of time. As death. Let's not make it rain. That's good. Three threes are just too big. Three threes are just too big. It's too late for you. I can't believe I just wasted that. Let's this spell. That is how we lose. I possess the secrets of King Fu. One of these should be marked with the Mark of the Storm also. So that's three for Kennen. I don't think I really mind. Is a crack shot Corsair? I am I break the wind.
what you take. Yeah, that's pretty good. Everyone here? Let's go. Okay. Stand and fight. There we go. That was really lucky hitting double cannon, considering we had two cannons, three droplets, and then one of the other one drop in our deck. And we hit both cannons. That was very lucky. That was very lucky. Alright, so obviously we have to do that. It's done that thing. So one cannon dies. That's how it is. That's fine. So don't take any damage though. That's good. I'll see all this world has to offer. This cannot hide. We're gonna have too many. Too many cards. I want to pick up the ephemeral cannon so then it's not ephemeral anymore and goes back into our hand and it's just normal. This is really good. Maybe maybe it's worth, you know, not playing any other one drops and just always getting cannons in play. I mean, honestly, maybe that's worth it. I'm just solely relying on that. Play some counterfeit copies, cannon. Is it fear? Okay, so we'll do that. Definitely doing that. Okay, right now, I'm going down to three. And it's just going to be three. Sejuani out here. This thing can do two. I can play either the Conspirator or the Seedling, and I'm, I'm just going to play the Seedling. And pick up. And now we have another card that can do two. So we have four points of burn in our hand with the two cannons. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Ezreal Cannon with Mystic Shot and Ezreal is like your only PNZ cards and then Cannon's your only one drop with Wayfinder. That, that could absolutely be a pretty good deck. I can see it. Yeah, so this this definitely showed some good like this definitely have showed some good potential and this this showed what happens whenever you get all your cannons, right? Like these last two games, because yeah, like they had a good hand, right? They had one drop into Mirai into a good Mirai Warden, and then they nabbed a bunch of cards from us with Black Market Merchant, and then Sejuani at the top end. And we were victorious. So that was a really good win there for Ari Kennen, for sure. And I have to say that both champions looked really good. They really did. And especially if you can find ways to buff up Ari a little bit with that with that uh, quick attack, make it even more difficult to block. Of course, we did see like with elusives, Ari looks even better with elus you know, when paired with elusives. But say out of all of them, Kennen looked great. And Kinku Wayfinder putting in Kennens definitely looked great. So yeah, I could definitely see doing that. Getting rid of Droplets and the Mourned. The Mourned in particular didn't look very good, but, you know, Droplet does its thing of, like, recall and, and stuff like that, but uh, maybe the Droplet's not really that necessary. I'm, the, what I'm worried about with only playing Kennen as the only one drop is, you know, blanking Wayfinder, but I get, you know, like, if you've drawn two Kennens and then you draw a Wayfinder, then your, your Wayfinder only puts one Kennen into play. Well, I guess that's still not that bad at that point, I suppose. You, 
Kennen does have a very good champion spell. We did see that. The recall to deal two damage to something. That was a, a good champion spell. And of course, your champion spells can put more copies back into your deck. Um, yeah, you know, like we'll have to just continue to experiment. That's what we're doing here. We're experimenting. We're um, just kind of testing the waters and just seeing how these different cards play. Um, so yeah, I think uh, another region would be nice, but obviously you don't want to play too many if you want to go down the Wayfinder route. Um, but the Droplet, the Mourned, um, you know, the Droplet looked pretty slow. But uh, anyway, good stuff there. So Ari Kennen. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, leave those comments and let me know with Kennen and with Ari, what other champs do you want to see them paired with? You know, we talked about, you know, Ezreal with Kennen because you're making those things, that, those cards that target you're making a whole bunch of those um, Mark of the Storms. Um, you know, anything else? Let me know. Like, what what do you want to see? What kind of decks do you want to see uh, each of these champions with? And if we want to play Kennen and Ari together, what's your favorite secondary region? If, have you found a region that works really well with the two of them? Um, do you like playing Wayfinder with that secondary region or just playing that secondary region? You know, let me know in the comment section. I'd uh, love to hear what you guys are uh, figuring out about the new format and what you're finding out and what you're experimenting with um, Yeah, always let me know down there, but that's gonna be it though for Ari Kennan So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video